then uh, you just started talking, but that's okay. This is Hunter. Hey. Hunter. Let, let me, let's do a little exercise. Okay. So we are going to be a little angry on the show today because we, we have a fun topic. I won't tell you what it is yet, but let me just like, tell me the best part of your day. The best part of my day. Yeah. What was your favorite part of today so far? That is a great question that I don't know the answer to. No, you have you know, to say, was, we have to have something positive. It was when I came home from class and I had a nice bowl of cereal. Mm. I had a muffin and I had a banana. Let me ask you, did you eat the bowl of cereal upside down? No, okay. I did not. You will understand that joke if you listen to Just the Facts. Okay, well, the best part of my day was the fact that the, the holiday uh, drinks came out at Starbucks today. And for anybody that doesn't know, I can't have like milk. And a lot of times I have to make substitutions into my drinks to like make them dairy free. So I'll get like almond milk or oat milk or whatever. And when the holiday drinks come out, it adds an additional menu item that I can have because the drink, the sugar cookie almond milk latte is just naturally vegan on its own. It doesn't have like, it just automatically comes with almond milk, which for me is like a relief because I don't have to ask for a substitution or people to make the drink a different way than they would normally make it which means it's a lot safer for me like to just order something because it's as is on the menu. So I was really excited about that and I already got one and it's sitting outside the studio. Did it taste good? It is so good. And they put they put little green and red sprinkles on it. And you know, after a while they just kind of fall to the bottom of the drink. Yeah. But they were so cute and I was so excited to get it. So it just made my day. That sounds pretty nice. It is nice. You know what else is nice? The fact that you're listening to WCVF 88.9, the campus and community voice of Fredonia. And maybe also, depending on the kind of mood you're in today, the fact that Alex is also here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Alex. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Hunter. Hello. It's a Hello. hectic day at Fredonia Radio Systems today. Okay, wait. Yes. We're doing an exercise about the best part of your day so far. Okay. And if you say something negative, you're not being on the show today. Okay. <laughs> the best part about my day today? Yes. Uh, I have pretty much finalized... Um, some cassette prototypes that might be coming in the near future uh, that might be available very soon for purchase. So very excited about that. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you. I just have to say really quick, um, the studio is set up different right now <laughs> because of another show that airs right after this one. Yes, the local lowdown. So the table is like sideways and I'm like really close to Hunter and I'm just so tempted to just like reach out and I'm just like, Hunter's here. <laughs> You can now mess He's around. He's trying to stab me with the marker. Yeah, that's very rude. But yeah, we um we're setting up for another show uh, after VGS, as you may know. The local lowdown airs after VGS at 8 p.m. Uh, we've got a big band coming through, so uh, the table is sideways to fit everyone, and we're doing something new for this episode. I won't spoil it. Check it out next week. That's when it's going to come out. Uh, but it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very very interesting. Yeah. So today on VGS, we have, <laughs> when we were planning on our topics, we were laughing at this one because I just think it's so goofy. So today we're going to talk about games, but we're going to talk about games that we don't like. Mm -hmm. So normally on this show, we discuss games that we do like or games that we think you should check out. But today we're given the opposite side as true journalists should. We games we don't like. are going to get negative yeah we're, that's why we had a positivity <laughs> exercise negative. that was to trick all of you into listening thinking you were going to hear something positive and happy no today we're angry I'm going to let my rage come out <laughs> you might hear Rawr. your favorite game tonight and that's not a good sign that means you're wrong <laughs> welcome to VGS welcome to VG who would like to start the experts here yeah clearly we have every single ground to tell you what you should and should not be playing yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. What's that was going a on? Big bang. <laughs> Did you hear it? Anyways. Doesn't matter. Uh I have to think. Because I have one, but I I'm scared to say it first. I have a game that I have I a don't genre. Like. Oh, you have a genre? Wait, I feel like we should start with the genre, because I feel like that's interesting. Okay. I, I I'm just getting it out of the way. I already know what you're gonna say. The Fortnites. Oh, MOBAs. The, the PUBG's. MOBAs. Okay, okay. Uh, the, no, Battle Royales. Yeah. yeah. Battle Royales. Oh yes, Battle Royals. Thank the you. Fortnite's, the PUBG's, the the the, the Apex Legends. That's well. All right, so this is gonna yeah. be a good lead. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
I am so inclined to agree with you because <laughs> when you enter a lobby for Hunter. one of these games. I'm going to take this. <laughs> so, when, on the table. so when you... He's pulling something doing? out of his pocket and I'm scared. What are you doing? No. <laughs> Here. So <laughs> when you enter the lobby for one of these games, so like as you're about to load into the game... Okay, wait, no. Let me let me actually explain like what this is because I forget that not everybody like listens mm -hmm. or not everybody plays games. Yes. So... Gamers. Basically, what this is... Some wacky music. It is. It is. <laughs> it's hyping me up. So you, for like Fortnite, for example, like, okay, you're into this lobby, which means you're waiting to load into the game. And basically you battle every other person to like, if, if it's singles mode, solo. It is 100 people go in, one comes out. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, so you have to fight like everybody. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. So it's just like fight to the death. Yes. So... These kind of games, in my opinion, they get toxic very quickly because this is something that you would definitely rage at, and it just ma it makes me angry every time. This is more fitting music, by the way. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm trying to, like, put my thoughts into this because I feel like whenever you play, like, you can't just play to have fun. Like, this is, like, mm -hmm. there are high stakes. You need to win. That's what that's what goes through my head. I don't play Fortnite to have fun, okay? No. <laughs> you play to win. And then so then you get people that have that mindset and they want to win and they get extremely good at the game and they just crush anybody that stands in their path. Yeah. Like uh, a big debate about Fortnite was that the building aspect of the game so you could collect materials by like hitting trees, kind of like Minecraft. You'd hit trees, you'd hit like cars and stuff to get different building materials mm -hmm. and you could build yourself like a base or you could build while you're in battle to block some of the shots at you so what would happen is people would get so crazy good at this that any new player that would enter would just totally be like you know crushed mm -hmm. because they wouldn't be able to keep up with that and another thing about fortnite is it doesn't match your elo with like or, your, or how good you play with other people like you're just thrown into like a random uh, like match of people so you're not going against people that are at your skill level, you're just going against, like, everybody. That's yeah. a debate in itself, is whether skill-based matchmaking, matchmaking matchmaking should be a thing. Yeah, I think it should be. I think it should be, too. It's I agree. not fair to, like, and, and, like, okay, so Fortnite was made to be a game for kids. Mm -hmm. But then so many, like, people our age or older start playing this game, and it's unfair for you to go against a bunch of five-year-olds in a video game because they don't have any hand-eye coordination. They don't know what they're doing. They're kids. You know, they're not very smart. But then you have, like, college students playing against them. And then we're the ones that are, like, building crazy things, and they're just, like, you know, spinning around, shooting in circles. I just don't think that's very fair, and it's not a good, you know, non-toxic, fun environment for gaming. So that's why I agree with you. Yes. I was going to say something, and I can't remember entirely. I'm sorry. I had a, I, I had thoughts on that prepared. Yes, you did. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, I am going to break this... Uh, character of this game bad I will give credit to Fortnite a little bit mm -hmm. they oh yeah kind of recently it was a little bit ago yeah but kind of recently they experimented and got rid of the building aspect right so everybody is like on the same like level playing field mm -hmm. because a lot of the problems was that people would get way too good at building Right, and there's nothing you can do when somebody's just building walls ar around themselves and you are yeah, not at the level to be doing that. Yeah. yeah. There's some crazy videos of, like, people that are really, like, good at that, like, online. I recommend that you search it up. Like, just search, like, Fortnite building really good into YouTube, and it's, like, crazy. Like, people will build, like, skyscrapers in, like, three seconds. And for me, I was not very good at that. I would just, like, play Fortnite, like, when it was really popular – my friend Caitlin and I would just play, like, after our tennis games and stuff. And it was just a fun thing that we would, like, do together. We would play duos and, like, you know, we, yes. would just, we would just play. But then, like, I would always die really quick because I didn't play outside of just playing with Caitlin. And there would be people that would dedicate, like, as much time as I have on Smite into Fortnite. And it was just not, you mm -hmm. know, you'd just die really quick. And you're like, okay, now I have to just sit here and wait. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a... You know, I want to relate this to economics. Oh my god, here oh, we go. Great. Hunter just gave that little smirk. The no skill-based matchmaking is a very laissez-faire way of approaching it. Mm -hmm. You 
just let the market do what it wants. Yes. Of course. <laughs> I understand economics right now. You put this in these kind of terms, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. You, the laissez-faire, you're just letting the game... Uh, Fortnite's just letting, you know, people do what they want. Right. Mm-hmm. But when they removed that one aspect, you know, that was a big thing. And with skill-based matchmaking, there's some games that have it. I can't think of a battle royale mode that has skill-based currently. I can't um, think of... I have an example when you're done. Come back to me. Yeah. Uh, but the skill-based matchmaking is a way to kind of control, even out the playing field. Mm-hmm. It would pin people of similar skills against each other. So in Fortnite, say skill-based matchmaking was a thing, you would see, if you were really good, you would see just the entire lobby just building. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You would see true. skyscrapers left, right, and center. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think a game that attempts to do this so i'm gonna guess like i guess i'm gonna move it a tiny bit away from a battle royale and we'll come back to you alex Mm -hmm. but so i'm gonna talk about smite for a second Uh, now i have smite in another no this is when it's okay to talk about smite okay so i do have smite in another context that i'll talk about a little bit later with a different entirely like reason of not liking this game Mm -hmm. but when you play smite you can play co-op which means you're playing against computers this is good for people that are learning you can even set the difficulty of the bots you're going against Really good for new people. Then there's normal where it's just called it's called versus. It's normal mode. You you just play against like normal people. There's no like stakes. Well, there's stakes, but there's no like requirement or skill level. It's just like everybody. Even then, they still kind of try to base it, but it's not as big of a deal as when you go into ranked. So ranked is like you have to have played. You have to be a certain level on on the game, which is overall level. You have to play a certain amount of matches. You have to have a certain amount of win-loss percentage to get into these matches. And then the only other people that can get into those are, like, at that same level as you. And they have different, like, leagues that you can place in. So they have, like, bronze all the way up to platinum. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, Hunter? No, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Thank you about something else. Okay. So that's, like, that's, like, how that works. So you can even, like, join leagues. And this is where all the competitive, like, play. Like, people play on Twitch, and there's, like, tournaments. Smite, like, pro. It's crazy. So what, what's wrong? No, continue. I, Hunter, pretend like, I'm not doing around. anything. Hunter's You're distracting around. me. You're so close to me. I'm, like, concerned for you. Are you okay? Yes. Pretend I'm not doing anything. Okay. So, yes. But that's, like, something that I think Smite attempts to do well. But when you put it into practice, sometimes when people party up, which means they play with their friends in the same, like, you know, group where you're, like, supposed to be in the same game together, you're partied up. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you'll have, like, Caitlin and I were not in the same league because I would play, you know, a lot more than she would. So sometimes I would be at a different level than everybody else, and it would match it to, like, either people that were really good with me like at a higher league to people that were at a lower league like Caitlyn and sometimes it would be very uneven and if we had more of us on our team and they were more bronze then it would be extremely unfair and I would like dominate and Mm -hmm. like destroy in conjunction with that if we had too many people that were at the same level as me it would be like us getting crushed by the other team I think that gets into a a question that we could talk about an entire episode Mm -hmm. of EGS about is whether it's i wouldn't say it's an ethical question maybe like a theoretical question Mm -hmm. should they guide it to the lower ranked person Mm -hmm. or the higher ranked person yeah because either way it's unfair for someone right and there's very different things that different companies can approach right but that's something that makes a lot of people not like playing ranked smite is because of that unfair matching you'll see like community threads like of people complaining about this for years mm-hmm. and they've tried to fix it but there's really nothing you can do when people are in that party the every decision that a company will make as such a smite mm-hmm. um they, it will receive backlash yeah because and we'll talk no about matter what it is unfair for someone mm-hmm. but you know what's you know like fair for everyone and like really good what like a better kind of thing mm. uh 
WCVF 88.9, <laughs> the campus, the campus, and, <laughs> no, 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 the campus huh? and community. Oh. Wait, I was going to come back Voice to community. Voice of Thonia. I was going to come back to community. It's, I think it's Alex's turn to talk nice. about a game, because Alex has a specific game that fits into these. Yes, kind I of. do. Okay. Uh, and that game's Overwatch. <laughs> okay, so you need to tell me why you don't like Overwatch, because I do like Overwatch. Because it's an FPS. I don't particularly okay. like FPSs, especially where it's just like 5v5. FPS. I guess we should also have this disclaimer. Mm -hmm. A lot of these games that we don't like are most likely going to be competitive. FPS things because we're all casual gamers. Yeah. That's very true. None of <laughs> us care to be competitive. Yeah. We have all like kind of dabbled in competitive, but mm -hmm. nonetheless, continue. Yeah. Uh, I just don't like Overwatch because it's... <sighs> it is... First off, it's just not my type of game. It's not my style. Yeah. But you can get into some incredibly toxic lobbies mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to FPS games, especially if there's voice chat enabled. People get really nasty sometimes. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, just Overwatch's, like, model, specific, especially what they did with Overwatch 2 with, like, not having, not letting people, like, play the game if you don't have, like, a phone plan. I was going to get yeah. that. Which is absolutely That's true. wacky. Uh, that's crazy to me. Um, yeah, it's, uh, just the FPS genre in general. There are a few FPSs that I genuinely enjoyed. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Halo yeah. and oh, Titanfall. Oh, I loved Halo Reach. Mm -hmm. Halo Reach was a fun one. I, I, there's a couple of Call of Duty games that I liked. Mm -hmm. But, like, overall, just, like, Overwatch, others. Uh, a decent chunk of the Call of Duties, you know, even Battlefield, like Battlefield's okay. It's just, yeah. you know, it's it gets too competitive. It gets too toxic sometimes. You know? Yeah. I, I think Overwatch for me was pretty neutral on my like kind of spectrum kind of thing mm -hmm. of likes and dislikes. Mm -hmm. And until they announced that they were going to drop Overwatch 1 and with Overwatch 2. And like drop all yeah. the servers related to it, and you like have to do this new thing. Uh, that just kind of pushed them in the negative direction for me. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree with you. Especially well, with like he said, the phone plan thing, where mm -hmm. Overwatch Two, some background on the issue. We talked about it one week. Um, there was a news story that broke out that a lot of people could not play Overwatch Two because they did not have a uh, not prepaid um, phone plan, reoccurring phone plan. Yes. Yeah. Which, for a lot of people, opened up a lot of questions as to their privacy and why Why do I need to have a phone plan to play yes. Overwatch? Like, yeah. how does that correlate at all? It, it doesn't. You should not need that at all. Mm -hmm. I think, for me, I like Overwatch alone. I liked the first Overwatch by, whoa, by itself without, like, no community. I don't keep voice chat on. I'll talk about this <clears throat> in a second community aspect. But I think, like, even F, uh, Overwatch being an FPS... Mm -hmm. That's fine to me. I do like to do that every once in a while. But if you consider all the other factors around Overwatch overall, not great. Mm -hmm. The game just alone for me to play every once in a while, yeah. not that bad. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess like this did kind of start going into the direction of communities and how that can change how you perceive a game. Before we move on, I don't know the exact things. I should have looked it up when we were talking. Mm -hmm. But I know Overwatch did um, at least... Overcend. Uh, fix. Yeah. At least to a point that uh, prepaid phone time thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got to clarify. We got to make sure our legal basis yes. <laughs> sounds. No, you know, in, care, in case... You know, in Karis. In Karis. In case... Uh, Mr. Overwatch is listening. Mr. Overwatch 2 is listening. Yeah. To VGS Mr. Overwatch the second. Yeah. The second. <laughs> Junior. I'll continue now. Okay. So, yes. So, communities in games, you know, when a game becomes a game, people start to talk. <laughs> okay. Now, there's two aspects of Where this is she going community. This? Okay? okay. There's the people that talk during the game and just like online. Like, directly, like, Xbox Live Chat, Xbox Sending Messages, parties, okay? There's also the community that's, like, on Reddit and, like, online. Mm. Is there a specific way you want to go first? Uh, I think it would be more 
I think it'd be better to start off um, in the game itself. Okay. Like so, voice chat and that kind of stuff, and then expand it. In is it inductively? I think I think is a word. Alex, you learned that. We were in the same class for that. Inductively. Inductive reasoning, isn't it? Like that, isn't that general to specific? Or no, that's specific to general. No, I mean, that's specific to general. God, what class was that? Was that that was electronic media yeah. writing? I was just gonna say that it was probably electronic media writing. Yeah, no, that um, I do not remember that. <laughs> I don't know. Nonetheless, <laughs> sorry, I'm okay now. My voice keeps going in and out. I don't know what happened to me, but I'm fine. So, community. In the game. If you are a woman, it is not a welcome space. Okay? Mm-hmm. I feel like I just talk about out, this a yeah. lot. <laughs> I talk about this a lot, but the just misogynistic views every time you go into a game. I am at the point where <laughs> I like that the music is sad. Thank you. I am at the point where I don't appear online when I when I play games. I so there's a status you could say, oh yeah, Chloe's online, she's playing she's playing Overwatch. You can turn that off. And I turn that off because I will get spammed party invites and messages and people either saying, oh my God, you're so bad, you're a woman, go back to the kitchen. I've literally had that message. In which I've responded and I've been the one that's gotten banned, but whatever. I think it's just like, it's hard because you get that or you get people that are like trying to hit you up. Yeah. It's two ends of the spectrum. <laughs> And often they collide. They will collide. It will be the same person that asks you to date them. Mm-hmm. And then they immediately turn around when you say, ew, weird. They immediately turn around and start calling you names. Oh, well, you should go back to the kitchen. You shouldn't even be playing video games. But then they're like, oh, my God, that's so cool. A woman playing video games. I've never seen a girl gamer before. Mm-hmm. I mean, like. Just in every niche community, there's those people that. Oh, are just absolutely! Like, you know, it's just like just horrid people. Don't be a horrid person. Yes, please, for the love of God, I would like to just let my friends mm-hmm. know when I'm online. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, to take it to like a different community, for example, just to show that this isn't a this isn't a problem in the, you know, in gaming, and this is a problem in society in general. Uh, in like in the vinyl record communities, there's people that'll that'll be like, you know, oh, you're using a Crosley turntable, you you know, bad word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you know, you 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 shouldn't even like be playing music, you you know, silly goofy human being. Like you're so stupid. It's, it's just like very it's an entry thing. You not know? inclusive. Yeah. You know, it's just people can be like that about you know niche communities. Yes. Such as, you know, either vinyl records or, you know, video games. Just don't be that person. You know, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Get some help. Be kind. The, so much easier to be kind than to be hurtful. Everyone in gaming or likewise should feel like they are welcome. Yeah. yeah. You know, you want to know where I feel welcome? Where do you Hunter? feel welcome? Oh. I feel welcome at 88.9 WCVF, the campus and community voice of Fredonia. That was, was really good. It was also a little early. I, but I, felt I just segue looked, was I was like, it. no way, it's already 6.30. That was perfect, <laughs> like, segue into it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Chloe is dying over there. I don't know what happened. It's because you're can't. drinking coffee. That is not it. <laughs> that is some anti-coffee propaganda. <laughs> the- the coffee's doing this to us. <laughs> Hunter, you say that to me all the time. Yeah. I hate coffee. I, I, do I don't have any other water. Get water. I don't have any. Get hydrated. Games we don't like. Coffee. <laughs> I think you're wrong. <laughs> no, no, but yes, so I back know. to my point. <laughs> why, why is that? Hunter, you got that little smirk on your face. You, you both just like insulted each other and then just stared at each other for like 10 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> just no comment. If I could describe my friendship with Hunter, it would be friendship. Hunter and I literally will bop each other on the head and then like give each other a little hug. <laughs> Telegram. <gasps> Telegram. Oh, God. I was Alex. not prepared. Alex, I'll at do it. All. Boop, 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 wait, wait. Boop, boop. I, I, got, I got the computer. Nope. That's Lover Call. Who, who left Lover Call on here? One second. It was you. Telegram. It was Hunter. You know, the wires are a bit rusty today. 
<laughs> Just waiting for it. Oh, there we go. I have a telegram. I'm stalling. Telegram. There we go. Uh, stalling for time. <laughs> it's been so hectic today. I completely forgot to set up the telegram mic. Oh my god. Whoopsies. Anyways, what's your telegram? Telegram. Telegram. telegram from telegram, my telegram. mother. Oh my god. Hi. Hi guys! Exclamation! 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 Uh huh. What is wrong with coffee? Exclamation! <laughs> exclamation! You. Question! They're question! Question! Fun question! Of me question! Because I had to bring my coffee into the studio. No, coffee sucks. No, Coffee's awful. This is the coffee I was talking about in the beginning, and I do not appreciate the the criticism that I'm facing. No, right now. coffee sucks. You know what? If I was Xbox, if I was Mr. Microsoft, I'd ban you right now. <laughs> I so, feel like you sell my storm in here after that statement. You sell I know. Mom's coffee. You guys just don't get it's it. It's not good. It's not good. You just, you just are like. I, I think you. I think. I think that you're immature. Want to know what's better than coffee? What? Water. I had water first. Mm. You know what? And I drank all of it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because water's better than coffee. That's why you chose it first. Amen, brother. Well, Got him. <laughs> do you? Are you aware that coffee is water? But with some beans with, in it? With some other gunk in stuff it. in with it. Gunk yeah, in it. It with ruins beans. it. With gunk in oh, it. Oh, uh, uh, I got a telegram. Oh, God. Telegram. It is from our lovely friend, Heather. Hi, Heather. She says, Alex is wrong. Uh, the ice sugar cookie almond milk latte is so good. Thank yeah, you. At know, that wanna, point. Want to know why? Because there's barely any coffee in that. It's all sugar. No, it's a, there's an espresso in there. <laughs> exactly, but it's all sugar. Hunter, stop dropping the marker. <laughs> At that point, it is just becoming not coffee. Yeah. Well, it's borderline coffee. Yeah. Then Which why can't you drink it? Because it still tastes bad. It's still bad. Yucky, yucky. Doesn't taste good. Okay, so yucky, back to yucky, the yucky. back to the video games. So. Overall, hello. <laughs> I was testing the microphone because I can't hear like the modulation in my headphones because I can hear myself. Yeah. So yeah, that's how it always is. On. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Anyways, back to the so, studio professional microphone. Anyways, so community. Again. Communication. So yeah. So overall, please don't be a jerk because yeah. you're making me not feel welcome. And you know what? Sometimes I want to play games too. And I should not have to be attacked every time I play games. Like when I tell you, literally, I should I should show you my Xbox like messages. So what? another. This one's from my mother. She says uh, I'm with Chloe on this, which is wrong. Thank you. I can. I think I should have the freedom to drink whatever I want to drink without being attacked. No, this is the episode where we don't allow that. <laughs> Remember when you introed this episode saying that if you played these games that we say, you're you're wrong? Yeah. Yeah, you're drinking this drink that I don't like, so you're wrong. <laughs> I have a telegram. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so popular. Telegram. It's from my mom. She says, hi guys, happy you're back this week. Did you get a holiday cup with your coffee, Chloe? No, because the holiday cups are for hot drinks, and I got an iced coffee, but you can, um, sometimes they have like little, like little stars on them, but mine doesn't. I wonder if they just didn't get those ones in yet, but maybe I'll, I don't really like hot drinks as much as, I do like them, but not as much as I like iced. See that I can get. I like a, I like a cold that one. Drink. I agree with you. Also, did we ever mention that we like didn't have a show last week? No. <laughs> I did not post about it. I did not tell a soul. It just didn't happen, and we're gonna move on. I feel like we owe an explanation. I was not here. <laughs> yeah, now that's I it. am. There we go. Yeah. Chloe was out gallivanting. Actually, I. What was I doing at this time? What were you doing Thursday night? 6 p.m. I got dinner with nice. some uh, Fernonia alumni. Oh, awesome. What'd you get? I got my first vegan black bean burger. Mm. I didn't really like it. Really? Not as much as I thought I was going to. Okay. 
And but I did get some wild rice. Mm -hmm. And I love rice. And it was so good. I love rice too. It was so good. Mm -hmm. I I got like a huge I, I got a side and they made an entire bowl of it and I was like, okay. So I ate the I ate the rice. I did eat the black bean burger. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't like I don't know. Good. It was and it wasn't no, it was just like it was so different <laughs> for me. I couldn't get it with the bun though, because just the bun had milk in it. Wasn't what you wanted. Yeah. That's fair. Anyways, back to the studio, back. Mike. Yes. Oh God, I hit something. So, oh. uh, going back to the community thing, I think sometimes the community that plays certain games can also be extremely unwelcoming, like even outside of just like the game. You know what I mean? Like online. This is where I don't like Smite at all because everybody hates each other because. They all play a game that makes them miserable. Mm -hmm. So then everybody attacks each other online. That's pretty much it. Happens with a lot of games. Yeah. Screw competitive games. Except for Rocket League. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of <laughs> issues. A lot of people complain about the Minecraft community, and that's not a competitive game. I think really? we should move off of that a little bit. I feel bit, like yeah. I haven't heard much... Complaint about I haven't that. heard well, much anymore. Okay, I've, I know. What you, I've heard complaints you. about Minecraft YouTube. Yes, that is yes. also a, a very valid thing to bring up because you will have people who have a big influence play a game. They are effectively the face of the game. Yes, like Ninja. For yeah. Fortnite. Yes. So then you'll have people that follow these YouTubers. Yes. Thus, follow the game. Extremely toxic. As much as I hate the the term influencer um it, it kind of summarizes it like they have a big influence on a large amount of people mm -hmm. like if ninja i guess it kind of happened but uh if if a uh, if a big youtuber such as ninja a uh, big streamer goes out and he was like the face of fortnite for a while and he says man this game sucks <laughs> and quits fortnite sales Yes, and that is the crazy impact. Mm -hmm. And also, we can call it fan behavior. Yeah. The way that some of these fans will just talk to other people that don't share the same beliefs as them, it's very toxic, and it can be yes. extremely online like cyberbullying, and mm -hmm. it's not okay. There is a certain Minecraft YouTuber. His name is Dream. <laughs> I'll say it. I don't care. If you are attacking other people... Because you like this one person, that's not okay. Who has Dream attacked? I, I have not. No, been no, no. Him. Dream, not, not him. Dream. Uh, people that follow the Dream SMP. Oh, yes. people attacking Dream. Gotcha. No, no people, people attacking that other people Dream. that don't like Dream. Yes. Oh, like, I've just been confused this entire time. <laughs> like you could say, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Dream. I just don't really like the content he puts out. And then you get like attacked. Mm -hmm. Yes, especially. On the lovely site Twitter. Oh, yes. God. Twitter. Well, yes. Twitter's going to die soon anyway, so... <laughs> That's another topic. <laughs> that is a discussion for another day. But, yeah. Right. So, yeah. I have a telegram. Would you like to hear it? Uh... Telegram! Telegram! It's from Hunter's mom. <laughs> Hunter's mom. Hunter's mom. You. Shout out. She says, you do you. Coffee is basically colored water. Black bean burger sounds absolutely awful, by the way. <laughs> it's like, it's supposed to be like a vegan alternative to having a burger, but the texture was not right. As someone who's not vegan, that has to eat vegan options. Another? Another. Telegram from my mother. She says vanilla sweet cream cold brew is her favorite. Yeah. From Starbucks. That sounds good. Mm. I've never tried a, a sweet cream that was made with almond milk also, because I heard it's hard to make. She says, I'll make Chloe a cold cup. What design does she want on the cold cup? What? Surprise me. You don't have to do that. <laughs> Surprise. Whatever is easiest for you, I will accept. <laughs> <laughs> make her a smite cup. <laughs> You like Smite. I will proudly bring it with me to BGS. Just so that Hunter and Alex can make fun of me. That'd be so funny. It has okay. to display her current playtime. Yes. <laughs> has to I'm on like the Xbox app. It eight, has not updated. 18,365 hours and counting. 865. 
I said 18,000. Oh, I was going to say, I, I'm I, way I can't remember that. the number. Uh, all right. Stats. 135 days, 14 hours, and 57 minutes. I have killed almost 20,000 people on Smite. And counting. And, and counting. Because Chloe plays Smite every night before bed. I have not played this game since the summer. <laughs> I talked to you. Hunter's throwing things in Graham. <laughs> Hunter, Hunter just threw an eyeball in Graham. Hunter. <laughs> yep. Put it back in your head. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop throwing stuff in Graham. Are there any other games that you just really are just like, mm, I hate this game? <laughs> I'm not um, a very no never mind. As I say, I'm not a very hateful person, but I feel like sometimes I am. The, I'm, I'm gonna the, look at my game. Oh wait, I I know. Yeah. Uh Red Dead Online. It's just there's oh nothing to god. do. Oh my god, there's Dead nothing Online. to do. The second you load into the game, if you have a female like portraying character, you get hogtied. Yeah. You get. I can't play it. I can't. Uh, if you just have a character in general, you're gonna get shot. <laughs> yes, like the second you load into the game. Like Dude, I there cannot are some even talk to people on Red Dead Online. So avoid that. If yeah. you're ever which gonna is, play Red Dead Online, avoid it. Which is a shame because it could have been such a fun online. Yeah, experience. Yeah, you could be cowboys. You run around. You ride your horses. You be cowboys. You know, you lasso things. No, you get hogtied. Yeah. People throw you around. It's, it's annoying. Not fun. I'm not a huge fan of um, like online things like that. Mm -hmm. Like <clears throat> GTA Online esque. GTA Online also, I have that same issue where mm -hmm. if I'm like a woman, then I get like attacked all the time, mm -hmm. and I like I just can't do it. So that I just avoid that because it's it's a shame because when I am with my friends, like I have to do closed sessions and stuff like that. I wonder if that's because of your character as a woman or because of your gamer tag. I, I need to change like, my gamer tag. You need to help me change my gamer because tag. Because I feel like a lot of people just. <clears throat> Play women in GTA Online. Yeah. So it might be my gamer tag because my gamer tag is my first name. Yeah. I'm gonna change that. Yes. That is our goal for this. It should summer. be Smite Player One Two Three. <laughs> no. <laughs> you should Hunter come up with a gamer tag right now. While I catch this C dot. If anybody can think of a good gamer tag for me. I'll figure something out for you. I'll get you some. I'll get you a coffee. You should Crustless Port 91. No, I don't want to be associated with you. That's <laughs> such an ugly name. You should Crustless. name You should name it VGS Let's Talk Gaming. Name yourself. That's honestly not bad. <laughs> Fredoniaradio.com. <laughs> yes. Shout out to Fredoniaradio.com. Do Keep your an location. eye out. Keep an eye out on Fredoniaradio.com because I will be making a blog post very soon showing our Halloween event off now that it's over. Yes. Also, keep a lookout on the YouTube. Some of our old episodes are going up on the YouTube now that Hunter's finished editing them. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. We've got uploads currently going up to like close towards the end of November, and we're not even, we didn't even do any of the uploads yet from this semester. So. And we also uploaded all of the Just the Facts from prior seasons that'll be coming out. If We've you want to hear us. the first though. season. Okay, well, we're, we're going to be it. uploading. Yes, we're going to be them. uploading them. Those are coming out daily right now. Yes. Yes. Um, but I do need the rest of those videos from you. Yes. They're on my drive. Yes. While you're already online, you should follow VGS on Instagram at VGS Let's Talk Gaming because that's where sometimes I post when we don't have a show and I post always when we do have a show. And follow for doing your radio. Yeah, while you're at it, for doing underscore yes. radio because that is even cooler. Does for doing your radio have a TikTok? Yes, it does. I have not announced it yet. Guess what? For doing it real? <laughs> no, I I was gonna do it along with the show spotlights on on uh, Sunday, but it's okay. We can say it now. For doing your radio has a TikTok now. Whoops. It's for doing your radio. We posted a Halloween lock in. We're gonna post different shows we got going on. Oh, look at that. So let's recap a little Hello. bit. Yeah. So when you go online, you have to go to YouTube. You have to subscribe to For Doing Your Radio. For Doing Your Radio. Yes. You have to. Then watch all of our. <laughs> you have to watch every single, every single one of them. There's a lot of them. I wonder is the in point seven times speed to really get the feel. <laughs> the full okay. experience. Okay. Is there a way to check how many hours you've uploaded to YouTube? I have no, no idea. I'll figure it out. No, there's okay. probably a stat. There's got um, Then you have to take it to Instagram. It might be linked on the YouTube. That would be smart. I think it is. Um, it's at Fredonia. And you have radio. to follow at on uh, Fredonia underscore radio. Mm -hmm. And then search into the handle uh, at VGS Let's Talk Gaming. 
and then you have to you have to follow both of those and like all the posts. and turn on notifications and turn on notifications. Uh, <laughs> And, and then, then you have to take that, it to TikTok. Yes, then you have to go on a TikTok, which will be linked on the FRS Instagram eventually. And you Sunday. have to follow <clears throat> at Froing Radio. Yes. On TikTok. And you have to like all of those TikToks and share them with your friends. And then, watch them all many times. Yes. Well, there's only two right now. There will be more though because Leave it running while you sleep. Yeah. No, you have to be engaged. Sorry. No. Okay. Well, would you guys like to hear some news? Yeah, please. Okay, so you can join for doing a skate club on Saturdays at 1 p.m. in the Chautauqua Hall parking lot for an open skate. Skate Club is a new club that accepts anyone interested in skateboarding. New skaters, experienced skaters, casual cruisers, longboarders, and more. Follow them on Instagram at underscore Fredonia underscore skate club underscore. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me start that over. <laughs> There's so many hashtags or underscores in this. At underscore Fredonia underscore skateboard underscore club underscore. Once again, that's at underscore Fredonia underscore skateboard underscore club underscore to stay up to date on any changes to their weekly meetings. That was a lot of underscores. That was crazy. Yeah. That was so hard. I was like, wait. <laughs> a little wild. Well, that's a little silly of you guys. Fredonia sk- skate club. I'm going to stop talking. Any rapid fire games we hate? Hmm. Um, well, I know Yasel said she does not like Toki Toki Literature Club. She's lame. I want to play it so bad. I might play it over break. Mm-hmm. And then I will report back to you if I like it. Okay. Nice. Because, like, I don't understand why. I feel like it's probably fine. I think everything's going to be fine. Mm-hmm. Um, cannot check how many hours we have uploaded. Uh, but I can check how many videos we have uploaded, and I believe it is like a hundred and eighty question mark. Oh, I have a game I don't like. What, what I game? also do. Sea of Thieves, because they need to control the community. Because Alex and I will be doing our silly little thing, and we'll be at it for six hours, and it'll be mm. like god awful hours in the morning. After hours of Alex and I just on the grind. On you know? the grind. And then we get attacked. You know, Alex and I are usually in a sloop because just us. We will get attacked by this giant ship and then all of our hours are worth nothing. And you know how painful that is? It's painful. It is very painful. Go, Hunter. Many, many mobile games. Okay. Are awful. <coughs> we should have a mobile gaming episode again because I... Want to smack the table? I don't like mobile games either. They're all annoying. Not all. Mostly. Pokemon Go, fine. I have this fun little thing that I like to do since a while ago where I just download random mobile games and try them out mm-hmm. and then delete them maybe like a week after once they become annoying. Yeah. And there, I do have a few that have stuck around, such as Leaf Blower Revolution. Shout out. <laughs> nice. Hunter, you and your leaves. Yes. Hunter is such a man where he gets like so excited over just such like simple little things. Like <laughs> leaves. He likes leaves. He likes building. He likes building like kin- Kinder Egg toys. Yes. Look at him. <laughs> Look uh, at him. And Fall Guys. Look at him. How simple. You don't like Fall Guys? No. Okay. I won't. I won't elaborate because we don't have time. Yeah. We have 180 videos. Congratulations. All right. So. <laughs> what do you not like? What? <laughs> what do you not like? What do I not like? One more game you don't like. One more game I do not like. Yes. Yes. Topic. Clash. Uh, Clash Royale. Okay. <laughs> you know the the one yeah. with the yeah I know yeah, yeah I know I know yeah. I don't like it. All right. It's silly. It's dumb. You know what game I do like? Actually, I agree with that. A lot of card games and stuff. You know what I should play? Mm. Heyday. <laughs> play the farming one? Yeah. Sometimes I remember about Heyday. <laughs> I feel like everybody. I'm back in my Heyday era. No, you guys used to yell at me. You were like, "No, don't you redownload that?" Because then I'll put all my time into it, and I'm gonna redownload it. Because you know what? I don't care what you no. say. No. It's the end of the episode. You now. have too many things to do. You're right. I need to. <laughs> you can't get distracted by Heyday. <laughs> well, thank you guys for tuning in to the Let's Talk Gaming this week. Today we talked about a lot of games that we don't like, but next week I don't know what we're gonna talk about, but it's probably gonna be games that we do like. I know we have a fun one coming up for Hunter's birthday. Or we're going to talk about games that Hunter plays. And I'm really excited because Hunter is the least gamer of all of us, but he's also got some interesting choices. <laughs> so be just keep listening for that because that's coming up uh, near the end of the month. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anything else? Any final thoughts? No. Final thoughts. All right. Goodbye. Bye.